almost a few days after I found out I was pregnant, I started experiencing one-sided pain in um, my right side. And I knew from my training that this was not normal. So I thought, right, I need to get this checked out. So I went to my GP, who sent me straight to the um, local unit for a scan. And the scan showed that there was nothing in my uterus at all. Um, and I was about almost six weeks pregnant where you would see a baby in the uterus if it was there. So my immediate assumption was that it was ectopic. An ectopic pregnancy is any pregnancy that implants or the placenta implants outside the cavity of the womb. So by far the commonest places for ectopic pregnancies to be found are the tube leading from the ovary to the womb and that can happen where fertilisation occurs, usually in the tube, and then progress of that fertilised egg down the tube is a little slower than normal, and the normal implantation process occurs before what will be the baby gets to the womb. Uh, probably the next commonest sites are either the ovary, where the egg has been released, or the neck of the womb itself, the cervix. I've had two. I had one quite a few years ago before I had any children and I didn't know anything was wrong until I started to get this really little pain sort of in the crease of your leg and I was working and it didn't really hurt but I just burst into tears and I knew something was wrong. Sadly the consultant I saw did not agree with me um, so and it's it's quite hard to imagine but because I was sent home I was almost sent home with some hope although deep down I knew that you know there was something terribly terribly wrong. The combination of a missed period with a positive pregnancy test and feeling pregnant with pain and bleeding would always make us concerned that the pregnancy was not in the right place. Everybody knows that so I want, want to know why on earth that hadn't happened in my case because everybody, it's, it's very basic care. Mm. Um, my problem was because I was like the patient, I didn't want to let go of the hope that I had. I mean, we'd been trying for a long time. I wanted, of course I wanted to be pregnant. I didn't want to go demanding surgery for an ectopic when somebody's telling me it's not. If, however, the ultrasound shows an empty womb and the pregnancy test is positive with these symptoms, then we would tend to do a small operation called a laparoscopy which is an operation done to look inside the woman's abdomen to look at the tubes and see can we see a pregnancy filling one of the tubes. It was in my right tube and the pregnancy had burst through the tube which is called a ruptured ectopic which is actually life-threatening and very very dangerous and I'm actually lucky, kind of lucky to be here. One option is to take the damaged portion of tube and the ectopic pregnancy away Another option which is done sometimes is to cut into the tube and remove the pregnancy from the tube and allow the tube to heal up. And this may be more likely to be done if the tube on the other side is already damaged or missing. I was quite young and I just I knew that I wanted children. So I just needed to please try and save it if you can. And they mended it. But then, after my two children, I had another one um, on the other side, in fact, and lost the tube because I think that's I think they wouldn't have let me keep it normally now, the one they repaired. But luckily they did because that's how come I'm pregnant now. You, you're not only dealing with the loss of a baby, you're dealing with the loss of a tube. You're dealing so that's you, you, you've got the loss of your fertility. Um, part of your fertility and um, you're dealing with, I mean with me, I was dealing with all the anger of actually somebody saying well no there's nothing wrong with you, go home and so I had all these emotions and it took, it took me a long long time to get over actually. If the tube on the other side is normal and they have at least one ovary and the ovary hasn't been previously damaged by some other procedure or disease and the chances of conceiving remain very good. I got to the stage where I just accepted that I couldn't get pregnant again. I was, I just accepted it, actually, and then I got pregnant. So. Unfortunately, it's not possible at the present time 
to take that pregnancy from the tube and put it into the right place. And although several people have tried this in the past, at the moment it's an unsuccessful procedure. So the ectopic pregnancy will always be lost. But I never thought I'd wanted more than one child anyway, so here I am with number three. <laughs> the body takes over the brain. <laughs>